everyone, Tom here. I have Kumotex Rush with me today. Let's have a closer look at it. The Kumotex Rush 1 is a hybrid inflatable kayak. It's 355cm long, 81cm wide. It weighs 12kg and has a capacity of 150kg. It retails for 1229 British pounds or 1417 euro. It is a recreational kayak that can handle white water up to grade 2. Rush 1 is made of Nitrilon, a blend of synthetic and natural rubber, so there is no PVC here. It features drop stitch floor and classic sidewalls. The maximum pressure for the floor is 7.2 psi and 3.7 psi for side tubes. The footrest inflates up to 3.5 psi. The drop stitch elements were also used to form both the bow and stern to make sure Rush 1 will cut through the water. The package comes with the kayak, an 80 liter dry rucksack, a seat, a skeg, a valve wrench, a sponge, a valve adapter, and several color matching patches with rubber glue. Oh, and before you start inflating the kayak, make sure to install the skeg first. There you go. The metal spreader bars don't come with rush. You need to purchase a cockpit set. It includes the mentioned bars as well as a nylon deck cover and a plastic combing ring. The cockpit kit will set you back another 245 pounds or 281 euro. The deck is secured with velcro straps all around the kayak. And every few centimeters there are perforations to help drain most of the water that comes down the deck. Apart from the skeg, Rush 1 features a substantial keel that is additionally reinforced. It definitely helps with tracking. To make transport easier, I also upgraded the bag to a 135 liter dry rucksack and I changed the seat to an inflatable seat from Gumotex. This one is from Gumotex Twist. And this is what it looks like when everything is packed in the larger bag. You just add your PFD, a paddle, and you're ready to check your bag in. Okay, but how does it perform on the water? I guess it's time to find out. And you know it already, the best way I know how to get in a kayak. It takes just a few seconds. Hey, you come with me. Let's go paddling. It is easy gain some speed in rush one. It turns on a dive, sweep strokes are very efficient. Let's try sculling. is 
possible. But surprisingly, draw stroke isn't. It turns you around instead. Interesting. It is stable. There is no chance you will tip over in it. You will need to really want to capsize. It takes quite an effort to rock it like this. Let's see how it handles smaller wake on motorboats. There isn't too much traffic, so let's take what is being given to us. Tracking is excellent. There is some yaw because the kayak is short. But when I stop paddling, it keeps its course. It goes in a straight line. One more thing is the paddle length. So my epic small mid wing is a 210 centimeters paddle and I'm perfectly fine with it for Gumotex Rush 1. I know other users reported 220, 230 or even 240. With my 210, when I use paddling technique, I can still dip the paddle fully in water and while preserving torso rotation, I can successfully just paddle straight. So a 210 or 220 paddle at most is definitely sufficient. Do you know this kayak has a secret feature? It is able to get turbocharged. Give me a moment and I'll show you. Go! And that's it for this little overview. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and see you in the next one.